dogs are out here playing in the snow. Yes, you heard that correctly. It is still snowing here. Oh my goodness, I am ready just for the sun. Nice weather, warm, but it is what it is. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about dog senses. Now, dogs communicate in a very different way than we do. They have the same basic senses like sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste, but they use them differently to communicate with the surrounding world. In general, dogs have a much better sense of smell hearing and sight than we do. This allows them to identify odors better, to hear noises at greater distances, and to see in the dark. Dogs also have sharp teeth and claws that develop to help them survive in the wild. Wild dogs are pack animals that require a strong leader. Their excellent sense of smell and hearing have allowed them to survive and catch prey in the wild. Because of their highly developed senses, they are great trackers. Dogs identify each other by their unique scent. They have scent glands located around their bottom and use them to mark territory as their own. This is why we commonly see dogs greeting each other by sniffing their bottom. First, let's discuss a dog's hearing. Dogs have a greater hearing range than we do. They can detect sound as low as 16 hertz frequency to as high as 100,000 hertz. People on the other end hear 20 to 20,000 hertz. Their ears have a great degree of flexibility that allows them to funnel sound and easily locate the direction of sound. They can hear sound much sooner and at a greater distance than we do. Dogs with cone ears naturally hear better than those with floppy ears. Now let's talk about the dog's sight. People used to think that dogs only seen in black and white, but the latest research shows that dogs actually see some color, though certainly not as much as people do. Also, depending on the breed, their field of vision can vary up to 270 degrees for sight hounds like greyhounds and whippets, and as low as 180 degrees for flat-faced breeds like the Bulldog or the Boston Terrier. Now, people on the other hand have a narrow field of vision, 180 degrees. Dogs can see much better at night than people as well. Their eyes are more sensitive to light and motion than ours though. They have a structure that allows them to see in dim light, 
and their eyes actually reflect back when bright lights like cars or flashlight are directed at them. Next, we're gonna talk about the dog's voice and how different dog breeds have different voices. There are many different types of voices, barks, growls, howls, and whimpers. A dog's bark expresses different emotions like pleasure, fun, loneliness, fear, or stress. Smell is the dog's primary sense. Dogs have nearly 220 million olfactory smelling cells compared to 5 million in us people. Dogs sniff to take in air quickly to identify different smells. Their sense of smell is extremely sensitive. And this is why a lot of people like to use dogs to track people, drugs, or explosives. They can even use smell to sense human and animal moods such as fear, happiness, sadness, and they can sense this at a long distance. In a previous video, I went in more depth when it came to a dog's touch, their paws, what they use them for, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. That way, if you want to check it out, you certainly can. That video goes in a nice bit of detail when it comes to a dog's sense of touch. Lastly, let's talk about taste. Dogs have 42 permanent teeth to chew on their meats and their vegetables that they consume. They have a broad tongue but it only has 1,700 taste buds, unlike us humans who have 9,000 taste buds. Because of this, their heightened sense of smell allows them to identify food. Thank you so much for watching today's video and learning about different senses that a dog has, how it's different or similar to us humans. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm hoping this snow stops soon. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now and stay safe.